Good afternoon. Happy Saturday, everybody. Uh, we tried to do this yesterday, but it didn't work out too well. Didn't have any sound. So doing it again with some sound. So again, this was in, honors of, in honor of Veterans Day, which was yesterday. I um, want to thank everyone who has served this country or is currently serving this country. We greatly appreciate you keeping us free um, for this great country of ours. Before we start the stream, we're now required by Medicare to make the announcement that we do not represent every plan in your area. For a full list of plans, please go to medicare.gov slash find a plan or just 1-800-MEDICARE or medicare.gov. Um, I'm going to preface that by saying that we do it for me insurance here and custom benefit plans. We work with just about every company in the state of Pennsylvania, and there's only really a handful of which we don't work with. And those would be like institution plans, such as like Erickson uh, assistance, senior living type places that have their own plans or sunrise communities, things like that. But for PA and Delaware and New Jersey and in Mar um, well, Maryland, we don't have Kaiser, but um, those states and, and most states, we pretty much work with every national, at least, and many regionals, too. Like in PA, we have all the Blue Crosses, Geisinger, um, Health Partners, all those little type of companies you could possibly think of. So I don't want to be too long today, um, but appreciate you checking, checking in here. <clears throat> so I'm going to share my screen, and we're just going to go over some of the plans that are geared towards uh, veterans. So there's been a big market in recent years that shifted. It started with Humana with their honor plan, um, where they noticed there's an untapped market of, of veterans um, that utilize their VA benefits or TRICARE Um I have learned that if you do have TRICARE for life, in most cases, you really shouldn't take anything else because it could interfere with that. But I'm not going to pretend to be the the expert on that. Um, that's just guidance I've received from my market reps. Um, but for, for most people just on VA benefits or like a different level of TRICARE, that's not TRICARE for life. Um, you know, all these options would pertain to you. So those people that are veterans that have TRICARE but not TRICARE for life or VA benefits of the sort to utilize the VA hospitals, pharmacies, things like that. <clears throat> when it comes time to go to Medicare, the government really wants you to take your A and your B. A, in most cases, you get for free. And if you're collecting Social Security, they usually take the B out of that. Um, but they usually do want you to have that if you're not collecting yet and you're still working. Um, you know, in that case, you'd be paying you would be paying your Part B premium, which is normally one hundred and seventy dollars a month, and that's usually issued in a in a, uh, in a in a quarterly bill. You know, unless you, you know your income helps assist with that, or sometimes you can make more than that depending on what your income was over the last couple of years. Um, so, yeah, so that comes out of your check. So you have your A and your B of Medicare. Um, so why would you want any other plan? So I obviously. If you have those, and then you qualify for either a Medicare supplement, which covers what Medicare doesn't, but you know has a premium to it, or the Medicare Advantage plans that you see Joe Namath and JJ Walker and uh, Joan London, and um, you know you pick your celebrity there on TV this time of year every five seconds. So what they're pitching there is Medicare Advantage plans, which is essentially replacing Part A and B of Medicare and having a private insurance company. Um, kind of do it all for you. So it's in a way saying the federal government saying, I don't do such a good job of being your insurance company. Here's X amount of money per month to the insurance company of your choice. Uh, you do it all. So in that case, you most cases, now you'll see the check the zip code thing and all that kind of stuff. But in most cases, you do continue to pay for your Part B of Medicare, um, you know, unless you're looking at some of these these give back programs, as they call it, which, you know, a lot of these plans that are geared towards veterans um, do. Um, that's the whole check your zip code thing. So again, those confusing commercials, which apparently are not allowed to be aired anymore beginning January, or at least misleading ones. What essentially they're talking about is when you call, they're going to first see if you qualify for any kind of prescription help, let it be a state program like PACE or PACENET or PAD in New Jersey, Pace in Pennsylvania, Pace in Pennsylvania, depending on income, every state kind of has their uh, level of that, 
we actually in our blog on our on our Medicare piece, um, actually on our Medicare basics presentation, which is on YouTube and Facebook here, that talks about and shows some links to how to see which programs are available in your state. So um sorry, I lost my train of thought. <laughs> So yeah, based so when you call those numbers on TV, they're going to first see if you qualify for a pharmaceutical help of sorts, or the whole check your zip code is to see which plans in your area might do the Part B give back. Which this year in the Philadelphia region, this is kind of become known as the year of the give back, um, where Humana and this new company Devoted, well new to the Philadelphia Five region, um, has come in and has some really generous plans that are given in some cases almost ninety to a hundred dollars a month back towards that Part B. Um, I'm going to preface and say that if it sounds too good to be true, it usually kind of is. Um, realize that you're not getting a benefit and not sacrificing benefits elsewhere. So the plans that tend to have the givebacks tend to have higher co-pays and exposure. Um, and we'll go over some of that. But, you know, last couple of years, these, these, these plans have been around. Blue Cross, Independence Blue Cross has had a version. Aetna's had a version. Those two carriers, their version, um, the biggest hole in that is that um, you have 20% coinsurance that you have to pay for an outpatient surgery. It means you pay 20% of the bill to that plan's ac maximum out-of-pocket or the MOOP, um, which is could be seven, 8000 depending on the plan. Um, so, yeah, paying 20% of that may or may not make it worth getting $50 a month. But but some of them, like Humana and Devoted, United Healthcare, you know, we're not playing favorites here. We're just looking at the market as it is and reviewing plans. We're not giving any advice here per se. We're just giving our opinions, what we find is the best for our area here in the five counties of Philly, which is which is our forte here. But, you know, we do have um, licenses in many different states, 17, and custom benefits has just about every one, uh, every state license there is. So, but we're going to focus here on basically the Philly Five uh, and, and some of the Lehigh Valley and 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 that four. So Philly Five would be Bucks, Montgomery, Chester, Delaware, and Philadelphia counties. So we're gonna we're gonna focus on them. Sorry, <clears throat> that leaves allergies. Um. So anyway, we're gonna get right into it uh, and not keep you too long. So let's share our screen. <clears throat> so again, here's our website, do it for me insurance.com, do it for me Medicare. It's just a redirect. So we just own the domain. So here you can look at advantage plans. Um, just to preface, this does not have every plan here. We moved our Aetna contract at custom benefit plans. Um, so it's not going to show up on this tool and also uh, ARP. We no longer have with this vendor, so it's not there. And Cigna. We do have those companies. Um, I have every plan available for the most part. I can, well, I can at least see every plan in the state. I have just, again, just have a, just about every one. Um, on my tool here, just hold on one second. I have to stop sharing this for a minute. Just to not risk. Uh... <clears throat> This is just a dummy case I made. So this is my system here. Medicare Edge is not consumer facing yet. Uh, hopefully in the coming years, it will be uh, powered by Connecture. So Connecture actually built. So this site that's been around for a while that most agents and consumers have used um, since, you know, it's, it's been around. <clears throat> so originally Connecture had built this site. And then a couple of years ago, they got away from it. And needless to say, it really hasn't worked as great as it used to. But that's just opinion. So um, so anyway, so Connecture is very reputable. And we partnered with them the last couple of years to help us build out, a, to help us 
give get us access to their system. So really for this, all I really need is just very basic info. So if you want to shoot me a direct message or email me at josephlcovell at gmail.com or um, you can text me 267-374-0975 and just say, hey, you know, this is a zip code I'm in. I really like to see what plans are available. Uh, I can usually give you three at a time. And then I think you can also through my link that uh, through the email that'll come to you, you can, you know, look at everything that that I have to offer. Um, so, which again is just about every carrier in the state of Pennsylvania. So continue to plans. <clears throat> so for purposes of this video, someone utilizes the VA, doesn't really need a prescription plan. Um, a lot of times they ask, you know, why do I need anything at all? Why should I pay for a supplement? Um, so what, what does an Advantage plan do? So maybe you don't want to just go to the VA, right? Maybe you want to have the options or if you travel or if you move somewhere rural and you can't get to a VA or you have like, um, and you just, you know, you want to have access to care or just a second opinion, or maybe you want to, you know, you come down with a condition and you want to see like another specialist having this Medicare Advantage plan kind of gives you that option because now it, it, A, gives you a stop loss, you know, having just Medicare on its own, you pay 20% of every bill, and there's no cap there. So here, at least you have your cap in terms of your max out of pocket amounts. So that's, that's a benefit there. Um, you know, network wise, original Medicare is usually as good as it gets, but um, sometimes you can be limited. So here you have a set set amount of doctors that you can go to within the network. So for most purposes, and a lot of vets I, I I use, let's use the case example where a vet is going to, you know, again, it's a vet on Medicare, is going to the VA to get their prescriptions, really doesn't need prescription coverage, doesn't really want anything with it. So there are Medicare Advantage only plans, they're called. They don't have prescription elements. Um, and also, you don't have to be a veteran. Like I said, if you have uh, you have state help with your pharmaceuticals, like a PACE or a PACENET or or LIS, which is limited income subsidy for for that, which also called extra help through Social Security, same same term, LIS, extra help. Um, you know, a lot of times you don't need the prescription plan, or they default you into something, or you know, it'll work with whatever you have. So, you know, in that case, and you know, you can look at a plan, or um, you know, without prescription, or in some cases, say you didn't take a prescription plan when you were supposed to, you're looking at a hefty fine. Um, really the the fine for not having prescription coverage after long after you know a window of 63 days um you know because you get you get a penalty which is calculated by the national average which is around 34 dollars or so times the number of months you went out without prescription coverage times uh you know one percent so if you've gone 10 15 years and you're looking at you know 15 20 60 100 dollars depending on whatever it is you know, tacked on to whatever plan you want, you know, maybe you don't want to buy something that has prescription because they really only enforce that penalty when you buy something that has prescription, such as a Medicare Advantage plan that has prescription coverage in it or a Part D standalone um, plan. So when you go to buy those plans, um, no matter where you go, like if you go to Humana or Blue Cross or you think you can get, pull a fast one and switch, um, pretty much the government will say, okay, Humana, like, you know, they didn't, they didn't pay, they didn't have credible prescription coverage on file here with Medicare for the last 10 years, you need to charge them, you know, whatever that amount is. So this zero becomes 50 bucks or whatever it is a month. And that never goes away unless, you know, unless, um, you know, um, there, there's a, there's a special circumstance or a low income helps pay for that, something of that nature. Um, so yeah, you know, that th those are reasons why you might not want a prescription plan. So but, you know, keeping in the theme of it being Veterans Day yesterday and, you know, again, I didn't personally serve, but my my grandfather did in three wars in the Navy. He served in World War II, Korea and Vietnam. So, you know, God rest his soul. He was a wonderful man. They don't make him like that anymore. And, um, you know, I'm very proud of him and he's my biggest hero for sure. So, you know, keeping with the theme of Veterans Day, um, <clears throat> you know, we're just going to look at the plans that uh, kind of you know, have that kind of uh, pitch to them. So just because it's aimed at a veteran doesn't mean it's for a veteran, right? So again, it's just, you know, it's marketing. So Humana Honor has been the, the first to really do this, to my knowledge. 
um, at least on a mass scale. They are they have the USAA endorsement, you know, Gronkowski's commercial USAA. They endorse the Humana Honor Plans. There used to there was just one for years, and now they brought out a second one. So we'll look at the differences of those. Um, WellCare has something called Patriot. So Humana, I think for the most part, was the first, and at least in the Philly Five, to come out with something. Next came the Aetna Eagle. Uh, then came the United Healthcare ARP Patriot. Um, and then I guess now WellCare has a Patriot. And Blue Cross this year is their first year. They have the um, Liberty. And Cigna has the Courage. So we're going to go through more of those in a sec. Um Lasso is another option. It's not necessarily geared towards a veteran. This is an what's called a Medicare savings account, kind of like an HSA, but it's for Medicare because typically when you have an HSA, you can no longer really contribute to that when you turn 65 and go on Medicare, and, you know, unless you're still working and get it through an employer. But typically, um, plans you buy on your own, you can't contribute to those anymore in most cases um, when you go on Medicare where you know when you stop the the account or so uh or you stop the health plan um just in general but so you know this kind of came out a few years ago so this company lasso which i believe now is owned by zing health uh basically what this is is you have a high deductible you pay for every expense until the deductibles met and then there's a max out of pocket so in instances with this, you can see, but it's being funded, right? So here's an $8,000 deductible. Here's a $5,000 deductible. This is the member responsibility. This is deposit. So instead of a tr traditional pan where you get benefits and things like that, this is getting deposited into an account for you, meaning this is your exposure, 5,000 minus two is three. 8,000 minus three is five. So this is your exposure here. So typically, um, it's not just somebody who's savvy, maybe likes to go to holistic a lot, you know, it's the same with HSA, there's a lot of things that are, are eligible for expenses. Um, so typically, you know, what really has drawn people to these type of plans, they haven't been extremely popular in this area, is someone who's really concerned about that uh, out of pocket max, right? So these don't have anything per month and give you money. You know, if you're known to max out that plan, you know, if you have something like cancer or something and you pay 20% of the bill, um, you know, and you're maxing out that out-of-pocket max all the time, you know, this may look attractive to you because here you're only seeing an out-of-pocket of three and an out-of-pocket of five, you know, and you're getting that money too that's deposited in an account for you, um, which you're going to pay for your expenses with you know, until, until, and then once, you know, like any other plan, once you meet the, the out-of-pocket max and then, then you're done for that year, as long as you're staying in network and, are, you know, um, abiding by the terms and such, if there's referrals or things of that nature. So we're going to get away from this screen because it doesn't really show everything. I'm going to go right into uh, Medicare Advantage plans here. <clears throat> so going to compare this one, this one, and the Eagle. So you can see network is everything too. This is a PPO network. You can go in and out of network, no referrals. Most plans don't have referrals anymore. Well, let's let's clarify that, right? If an HMO plan says there's no referral, it means you don't have to call and ask for the referral. There's still the mechanisms of a referral, you know, network captivity contracts and things of that nature too like those can apply right so here's you know freedom to go wherever you want don't even have to assign a, a primary care doctor um not not anywhere as, as an original medicare you still got to be within a network but it gives you more freedom than being hemmed into an hmo but sometimes the hmo benefits tend to be a little more uh uh generous because you know there's an incentive to using that network and and that managed care model so we're going to look at these three because we can do three at a time and again if you want to send me your info i'm happy to forward this to you all i really need is your zip code and you know just an email address to send you something to or i can even text it to you so here's these three different plans so you can see the aetna has a really low 
out of pocket for that. This is 6,700. The other Humana one is even less. 10 for your doctor, zero, zero. Again, PPO versus HMO, 45 versus 40 and 30. Right. And then um, <clears throat> other benefits, which so Part B give back. This one here gives you $100 a month towards your Part B. This one gives you 40. And the Blue Cross is not listed here. Uh, but it is 50 and it that's in the plan detail which we're going to look at in a sec too and then just kind of comparing that to some of the others so let's look at the uh let's take the eagle out so in terms of medicare advantage networks in our area and this is just fat this is just you can you can check this out too by going to the Websites, ibxmedicare.com, humana.com, etnamedicare.com, and, and just search in the doctor doctor tools to, to support the statement. But in our area of the Philadelphia Five County region, Independence Blue Cross pretty much has every doctor you could imagine. Um, same with Aetna. Aetna's been around a long time doing this. I would say in terms of pecking order, it's Blue Cross and Aetna from a network standpoint. You know, Blue Cross kind of usually wins at the end of the day because simply they have the network. You know, that's their claim to fame. And and rightfully so, they can they can they can brag about that because it's true, right? They have the network um, for all intents and purposes. You know, you're going to have doctors that don't like Medicare Advantage, but it's getting to be harder and harder because more and more people have these plans. You know, the the penetration rate of the market some years ago was, pro was a lot less than it is now. It's probably 40% of the market or so in the Philadelphia region is in, in a, an Advantage plan. Don't quote me on that exactly, but that's the last time I heard the statistically. I um, just want to compare these couple here. I'm going to compare the two different honor plans. Now there's two different honor plans. So this, uh, uh, oh, sorry about that. Wrong plan. I mean, that's another. Uh, we want to not have the regional. We want the other honor plan. Here we go. <clears throat> All right, so. Technical difficulties. Here we go. We're comparing this has a lot less of an out of pocket. Uh, ER copays, give back. Here's only 50, you can see. So less out of pocket means less give back. Um, and they also have dental too. So, you know, for a veteran, now you don't have to just go to the VA dentist. Now you have about, one has 2,000, one is 2,500. This is 2,000 or so. We're going to check that. <clears throat> also over-the-counter allowances are nice too. So these most of these come with a card or a way or a catalog for you to go and buy over-the-counter items, which might be Advil, Pepto-Bismol, things like that. A lot of things that are in the store. Sometimes here regionally, if you go to like Giant and you're checking out, you'll see on the screen, it'll say, you know, cash card, OTC card. Um, and some of them actually even do healthy, healthy, healthy food, you know, depending if you have a couple qualifying conditions, you can get healthy food benefit on certain plans. So, you know, trips to the doctor, if you can't drive, um, usually get a set amount of uh, trips at the one-way trips to the doctor. Also, like if you, once you've been discharged from the hospital, you can get X amount of days, depending on the plan of, of food delivered to you at home. So, yeah, I mean, these plans are expanding all the time. And again, you know, not to say there's an agenda, but, you know, I think in the government's standpoint, like, Blue Cross and Humana and the insurance companies do a better job of facilitating fraud than the federal government does when you're on original Medicare, which they rely on the FBI to do. So, you know, in their in their mind, per se, you know, a lot of times it's easier for you to be on an advantage plan. Um, you know, it's it's a little it's a little way it's a better way for them to kind of 
regulate things. So let's just kind of get into the nitty gritty of some of these a little bit too. So I'm not showing you anything that you can't find online already, either through a website or, you know, uh, just going on medicare.gov. So I'm just showing you published marketing information. Um, this is just for educational purposes to just compare different plans in the area. We're not endorsing any specific plan at this point. You know, everything is based on your needs and budget and what's important to you. Um, everybody has a specific case. We're just simply educating on what's available to you to let you know that we work with just about every single plan in PA, Jersey, and Delaware, uh, as well as many other different states. Um, and, you know, we're just reading through these information as if you came up to me at a fair and I handed it to you too. So, you know, it's kind of the, the purpose of this is just for you to just get an education experience. If you walked up to us on a street fair or something like that, you know, we would talk about the same things. You know, we might have to have you sign a form or something to say that, you requested the information unless we've, you know, filed the event, which we do with a, a lot of times when we do these street fairs, we'll file the event with uh, CMS, the Center for Medicare and Medicaid Services that, you know, it's going to be an informal event that, you know, we can discuss benefits and such, you know, when asked about depending on the situation or who, who filed the request for us. So just going into the Humana plans, this is the so they they call their plans by these last three letters usually. So this one are numbers. So here's the service area, most of good bit of PA here, uh, if not all of it. And then so here you go, zero, 50 bucks a month, thirty nine hundred dollars your out of pocket max, two seventy five per day is one to six. I do believe this was a per stay last year. Don't quote me on that, but I feel like it was. Um, Outpatient surgery, 225. So you want to go outside the VA. Here's, here's your copay for that on this specific plan. And like they say, Joe Namath and JJ Walker and stuff, you know, get all that's out of Medicare. So they're talking about these extra benefits. So again, when you compare a original Medicare and a supplement to an Advantage plan, most times a supplement covers just about everything Medicare doesn't gives you the freedom to go wherever you want in the country that takes Medicare. It's called a non-network. Here you have a network for good, bad, or indifferent. Um, and it's all about those extras, trying to get you to get out of original Medicare, out of your supplement, and into one of these plans where they feel like the cost can be um, controlled a little better. You know, again, that's we're not making a political statement here or venturing our opinion. We're just simply stating the the, you know, the rules and, and the speculations, things like that. So again, this had $2,000 of dental. So think of this as almost like someone kind of gave you a, a blank check and say, well, a check for 2000 said, use this out of participating dentist. Um, you know, and there's some speculations, like it might not cover certain things. You know, there's, there's a big thick book called the evidence of coverage, which talks about all the different procedure codes and things like that of, of things that aren't covered on the plan, exclusions, things like that. Um, so I'll say the one thing that's unique about Humana and, and many others too, I think like Cigna does this too, um, is that, you know, this is almost like having a standalone dental in and of itself. You can go in and out of the network. Um, you don't have to just get hemmed into the network, whereas certain companies like Independence Blue Cross uses United Concordia's network, which is a fantastic network. I'd say Delta and United Concordia are probably the biggest insurance companies, at least in this region, if not most places, at least Delta, at least on the, on the one hand. So with the United Concordia coverage that Blue Cross tends to have, or even like Aetna has, although they might have changed, a lot of times they'll just kind of say, you have to go to someone that takes this network, you're not really able to use the credit. So, you know, you got to read the fine print, right? But this one here, you know, for, for years, that the kind of, uh, oof, Humana was always kind of explained to me that they stuck out because they had, um, you know, basically almost like having a standalone dental plan built into it. Uh, over the counter allowance is also really big. So, which we talked about is money towards like Advil and, and things like that, or, you know, through a catalog. I have a hard time reading their benefits here because it's just all over the place. Um, I actually really like Humana, but <clears throat> um, Blue Cross, who's a five county company, you know, can really just master putting a book together because they have five counties, whereas 
these Wall Street type companies, you know, Aetna, Humana, you know, national players like that, you know, who are in just about every state, if not every state, have have a lot of service area to worry about. And that's why sometimes they'll be real competitive one year and maybe not so much the next. Like, for example, in the regular Medicare Advantage with the prescription drug plan, um, say regular Medicare plan with prescription drug can Humana looks really good this year. They have an $18 PPO has a per stay benefit around like $325 a stay. So whether you're in there for a day or a week, you're paying that set amount. Um, there's also a healthy foods benefit in there. There's a flex card. So it comes with 3000 a dental, but there's a flex card that you can apply to either dental vision or hearing to give yourself $500 more for that year towards that. So that's pretty cool. Um, with the over-counter allowance, things like that too. So that's kind of becoming like a kind of like a step down from a supplement. So that's uh, been a market that's kind of developing. A couple of years ago, Blue Cross uh, came out with the Elite, and I don't want to take credit for it, but uh, I kind of helped the sales team with that one. Uh, I, I saw that uh, Capital and Highmark had this thing called the Per Stay benefit at that time up in the Lehigh Valley and other rural parts of Pennsylvania where it was just that per stay, regardless of how many days you're in the hospital. Uh, Aetna had something similar here in the five county, but it had a bit of a premium to it. Um, but the Highmark plan before we had any, before there were this past year where Highmark had a five star and Independence had a five star and Aetna had a five star, which they lost for 2023 and UPMC had the five star. Three of those four have kept it into 2023 with that and the losing it in the Philly five here. So be um, before that, the Highmark plan was a JD power award. Um, I had a really good JD power award for Medicare Advantage plan. And I had showed that to blue independence blue cross. I said, this is a really good plan. 2000 dental PPO, no cost with a per stay. So they came out with their version of the elite plan, which is around $49 now this year. Um, and they had a per stay of 525 or so. Don't quote me again. We can look at those on on, on the benefits. Um, so yeah, Humana is just looking very aggressive this year coming for 2023 um, with their 017 plan. Um, which a veteran could buy too, but again, it has the prescription to it. So, you know, <clears throat> in a way out there you know, what's important to you and, and and what you're looking to get out of it. But that would be in the regular. $18 a month. Yep. This is the one here with a 4,900 out of pocket max. This is a really good looking plan in this area. Um, you know, again, you got to check doctors, right? So, Blue Cross tends to win a lot of times because everybody takes them. Humana, the biggest pitfall network-wise would be Penn is still not in the network at the time of this video. But one thing that's cool about them and other companies might do it, but I know they do it. If you find a doctor that uh, is not in the Humana network, obviously you have an out-of-network benefit with the PPO. Um, but as long as they're willing to bill the PPO network, Humana will often treat that as a network and you'll pay the in-network copay. So that's just a quick aside on that. Uh, going back to some of these other plans. So we looked at the two Humanas. Here's the other Humana. service area so this is the one that gives you the 100 back but have the higher out of pocket 295 per day uh because again you know you're getting 100 bucks a month you're going to sacrifice some benefits elsewhere primary specialist uh, <clears throat> urgent care lab services hearing benefits there's the dental 2500 on this one vision coverage inpatient and then it goes into all the silver sneakers so 
silver sneakers gym membership um go to someone to take silver sneakers and usually don't have to pay for most at least basic level uh membership blue cross has gotten away from that they're now using one pass that's met with some controversy because people tend to really like silver sneakers especially when you're used to it um arp united health united healthcare with the arp label on it uh partnership endorsement i don't i don't know the terminology there offhand i want to get it wrong um they started using renew which is their own version uh, i believe cygnus still uses silver and fit so they all have a version of this but the humana has the has the actual uh silver and sneakers still um so it's enough of that Here's the Aetna Eagle with the 4,000 Moop. Don't pay anything, get 40 bucks back. 275 per stay. So this still has that per stay benefit. That's nice. So one or more days per stay is your best friend. You're not paying $1,800 for five days if you're in the hospital. Your average stay, again, is a day and a half. So keep that in mind in the hospital. At least it used to be. I don't know what it is now. Outpatient. Emergency room. Lab services. Dental coverage, this gets 3000 allowance. Here you go. Over-the-counter items, get $90 quarterly. A lot of times with Blue Cross and other companies, you get a card. They load it up every quarter for you. I think there's a way to check it out online too. Telehealth's big. So that's the Aetna Eagle. This is the United Healthcare Patriot. Um, United Healthcare is another one. Again, I'm, if I'm going independence from a network standpoint, independence with Aetna being like right there, Aetna being a close second, or you know, you could make a debate. And then the next tier I say would be Humana. That's really come a long way. Cigna is very pocketed, especially it's very good in the in the city, Elkins Park, inner city places like that. Not so great in the Bucks and and uh, Montgomery corridor in terms of specialists. Um, United, I kind of put up there too. Very good with the formulary for prescription drugs for those that need prescription drugs. Um, this one actually is a POS, so there's some out of network benefit built into it, but not as as uh, robust as a PPO. Reduces your check by $65 a month, $5,500 and out of, po uh, out of pocket max per day benefit, like most others. Outpatient. So I keep talking about this outpatient is good because when we look at the Blue Cross, you're going to see that's actually a percentage. So that's where you got to be careful. Same with that saver plan, which was their version of the give back where it gave $50 a a quarter and it might have actually increased for 23 um $2,000 a dental so you can go out of network but you get balanced build <clears throat> so explaining dental in a nutshell right you want to go to someone that takes the network because that that dentist has agreed to those terms and gets that pricing when you go out of network it's off the usual and customary so if the U unc as we call it is say 200 dollars for a cleaning but the dentist you go to doesn't take your insurance wants to pay 400 the plan's going to pay either if it's an allowance or if it's a benefit like a percentage on most dental plans of themselves this isn't really a dental plan it's like an allowance um you know it pays based on that usual customary rate which is 200 and then it'll balance bill you for the rest because that doctor's charging you 200 so that's when the dentist says oh i don't take insurance but i'll process it for you. it just basically means he's just going to fax it in for you so he's not really doing all that much to help you in all, in all honesty but that's okay we're not going to get into that argument um, so there's the Patriot plan by United Healthcare. Here's our friends, Independence Blue Cross. Again, you know, when you only have five counties to worry about, you can really master it and kind of keep things level. So we're looking at the Liberty plan. Reduce your Part B by 90 bucks. 
out of pocket 7500 265 per day is one to seven uh and here this is the biggest still gives me caution with this outpatient service 20 percent you pay of the bill up to that plans max of 7500 there so you got to definitely be careful with that if you're a veteran you don't really plan to go other than emergency that might not be a big de deal to you maybe you like some of the other extra benefits in it um you know blue cross again is our local company here our local blue sponsors all the games and things like that you know can't drive down the road without seeing billboards people really tend to love blue cross for the most part or you know some people don't but on average if i pulled nine out of ten people in our area they're gonna want blue cross or or be favored to, to blue cross just you know from that local mindset and and you know being being that like that go-to in the neighborhood kind of say like you know again they <clears throat> all these companies have offices and local reps that we can go to but you know blue cross is right on market street there so if you really have a problem you just go right down the market street right so there's there's that you know that you know where to find them they can't they can't run and hide uh they're not going to go anywhere not going wood but uh yes yeah, so as the over counter things like that we're not going to beat this to death uh here's the Cigna courage so Cigna has really gotten some attention this year coming because they wanted to list their dental as unlimited but they had to put a dollar amount to it so they are advertising it as twenty thousand dollars as the credit um all these companies are going to tell you that most people don't come anywhere near to meeting their credit most people so the twenty thousand that they're advertising uh still don't know how how great this network is i know it's gotten better before they had a vendor and they're actually using their own network now uh, i do think there are some speculations to this um so there's been a there's been some cri cri criticism of of this and what you're actually getting out of them um in terms of this actual twenty thousand amount um, but again you know we're just presenting we're not we're not doing a consultation here we're simply presenting the benefits that you can see on medicare.gov or just by going to the company's websites or requesting it or any third party uh vendor out there that's displaying information allowing you to shop so again what we're doing is just going through the benefits as they are so this is the courage plan another medicare advantage only this does not give you money back towards your b to my understanding which it would tell you here And then we'll end with the <clears throat> Well Care by All Well, which is all owned by Centene. You might be familiar with Ambetter. Um, it's all part of Centene, the parent organization. So there's the Give Back and the Patriot Give Back. One gives you 39, one gives you 60. You can see here, right? The more they give you, the higher you pay here in terms of your benefits. So I think that's it for now. Uh, also check out our blog. One do it for me insurance. There's our blog. This is our penny get covered NJ for your for those of you that are on Medicare yet or have or are on Medicare and have family members that need help with that too. Of course, we do that. We're we're in the full swing of that as well. So we got our, you know, fourth quarter is always hectic for us. We got Medicare Advantage plans that need to be renewed, Part D plans, people don't want to shop supplements this time of year too um just because open enrollment gets people thinking about their coverage uh under 65 you know we specialize in penny.com we're certified brokers uh penny get covered nj penny i can't i had to take my logo off i'm in the process of doing a, a certified 
uh, Penny Certified Broker logo here once I get approval. Healthcare.gov for Delaware and many other states like Florida, Texas, Ohio, Michigan. Again, we 17 states or so we specialize in and you know, we have access to just about every state there is to, if not through us, through a partner. Maryland, uh, Maryland Health Connection uh, too. And all that stuff's here under fee-free help. Talks about how you can work with us in that capacity. So here's our blog. This is our Medicare piece that we sent out. Uh, we try not to kill people with uh, with too many emails. So we just send out a couple of years or so. So we had sent this out to, to those that are on our e-list. Um, and you can get on our list too. You can either email us or I think there's, yep, right here you can subscribe to our mailing list by putting your email there. Um, so yeah, this is just, just some stuff we sent out in our blast. Here's our Medicare basics video that's on our, our Facebook and stuff too, but you can get it right here on our website. Um, you know, I just, um, you know, just kind of going through the market and, and other services we offer, things like that too. You know, again, you can pretty much run quotes for everything you want here, at least get an idea. Medicare supplements, business, it's just, you know, we do we do businesses too. That's fourth quarter is always hectic for that. Dental vision, discount dental, uh, life insurance. You can actually run life insurance quotes right here on our website. Get real-time prices immediately without 100 phone calls. You won't get any phone calls unless you want a phone call from us. You can also book a phone call here. We do have some uh, in person. So in person appointments, for the most part, during this time of year, we really just make them at our office. And it's just on a limited capacity. Um, we give priority to our Medicare clients, because a lot of times they tend to want to sit down with us. So we do have office availability. Um, home appointments post COVID just really few and far between. Um, it's just, you know, it's just really with with the liability of it all. And and just the, just just the time crunch for the most part. I mean, everything's got to be done in such a short amount of time. It's just, yeah, it it really need every minute of office time available this time of year. Um, so it can't really be in the car all that much. But you know, we can do a Zoom like this too. I'm happy to do that. So yeah, that's uh, I think that's it for the most part. And you know, enjoy your Saturday. And thanks for for listening to this. And and feel free to contact me with any questions or concerns. Thanks so much. Take care and uh, enjoy your weekend.